Alrighty guys, today I'm going to be talking about and showing off my daily rig, as well as kind of doing a review on the motherboard that I'm using. Um, it is a X58, it's an LGA 1366 board, obviously X58. It is one of the Chinese boards, it is a Hunanzer uh, X58 Deluxe with triple channel memory. This is the first board that they released with the three DIMM slots. So it does have triple channel memory, and it supports up to 48 gigs of ECC DDR3. Um, I think it's like ECC DDR3 LR2 or something. There's a specific type of DDR3 that it actually uses. Um, I have an X5670 CPU underneath the cooler. Um, I have my 980 Ti WinForce Extreme Edition, which is way too nice for this system. Like, this graphics card is amazing. And then I also have a little Sound Blaster sound card down there. The, uh, the fans are the Chinese Cool Moon um, RGB fans. As you can see, it is very unicorn pukish, which was set this way for the video. Normally, everything's just set to red. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going to be, or this is what I've been dailying for the, like, the last four or five weeks. Um, it is surprising to me. It's kind of surprised me how this system actually works and what this system actually is able to accomplish. Um, the CPU is going to be traded out, or the CPU is going to be swapped out soon enough, um, simply because of some of the quirks of the motherboard, which I will get into when I go into the benchmarks. So, uh, let's roll those benchmarks. Alrighty guys, so we are going to get into some benchmarks, um... It's kind of hard to see the um, the frame time graph. I should have made it bigger. I didn't think about that though. But right now I am benchmarking the game The Outer Worlds. This game is the newest game on the benchmark and probably the most demanding. As you can see, the CPU frame graph is kind of bad. It's playable. I played the game for about 25-30 minutes maybe just running around, running through the opening area. I played it for about two hours last night, honestly, not recording it. Um, and it's playable. I mean, I, I I can't complain about it, being the fact that that's a $20 CPU and a $60 motherboard. The dumbest thing that I could have done was spend the $80 on getting 64 gigs of DDR3 ECC and then oh, I got a 64 gig kit and I'm using 48 of said gigs. Um, if you look at the uh, or at the chart, wrong way. No, nope. yeah, it'd be that way. Yeah, if you look up at the chart, you can see the frame time is bad and the RAM usage. I'm only sitting at 10 gigs about for running through this game, recording, having my software up, having a whole bunch of things up. And it, it just does not, it does not utilize all that much RAM. Um, and I think if I would have not done this amount of RAM, the build would have been a much better budget-oriented system. But that's the thing. I am going to be changing out the CPU and changing out the RAM. I'm going to be going down to 24 gigs of the DDR3 ECC and going to a W3690 and doing benchmarks for that one because that CPU has a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz compared to this one's uh, 2.9. And this motherboard kind of oddly enough, yes, supports turbo boosting. No, it does not work you can enable the turbo boost and it will only turbo up about five or six megahertz above what it is. I think it's sitting at like 2.9 point or 2.902 or something or 03. So it very, very, very much does not turbo boost properly. And that is the problem that I'm running into on this uh, Hunan board. Simply, it, it does not 
utilize the CPU the way that it should. And if the CPU was boosting to 3.2 like what it should be for gaming, the graph would look significantly different with the uh, the frame times. And yet again, it's not bad. It's playable. It's <sighs> just the Outer Worlds is the thing that I wanted to use to really see show it. Because yet again, you look up at the um at the graph, you can tell how badly it's spiking up and down. Um, the frame time graph. I believe is sitting at like 35, 40 milliseconds frame time or something, which it, it's not, it's not good. Compared to what it should be, compared to what it could be, it's, it's just not good. But I think what that mostly falls down to is the CPU that I chose. I did not realize Turbo Boost was not going to kind of work on this board, but granted, that is one of those situations where getting into these Chinese boards, X79, X99, X58, and X58 is their lowest end stuff. Um, it is, it is to put it bluntly, not the smartest thing to buy one of these boards if you're absolutely in need of something that is going to work perfectly 100% of the time. I'm a tech head. I absolutely love messing around with stuff, and especially like this older, like high high end tech. Um, for me. X58, X79, X99, all of those excite me. I look at like a new Ryzen system, and I trust me, I could easily buy a Ryzen 5 2600, Ryzen 5 3600, B450. I, I could do all of that if I wanted to. I don't. What excites me, what interests me, what I have fun with is this kind of older high end tech. So. If you're like me and want to do stuff like this, I don't know if this is going to be the correct board for you. Simply because it it just does not deliver the way that I think it should. But granted, this is the newest X58 board that they have released. This one has triple channel memory. This one has 48 gigs of support uh, for, uh, for its memory. And if it just allowed the CPUs to turbo the way that they should, this would be a very, very powerful little system. But that's the thing, is it doesn't. And until we start getting modified BIOSes for it, which I could attempt, I don't know if I really want to though, because going in and trying to reconfigure the BIOS, I might end up breaking the board, which, eh, it is what it is, but then that's another month that I'd have to wait for a new board, and ugh, I just don't want to wait that long. And actually, it might be longer than a month due to the, um, due to the ep epidemic that's going on in China right now, which... Yeah, all thoughts and prayers go to those guys, because, man, that is rough stuff. Um, that's another kind of thing to a, a little bit of a side note. If you guys want to be ordering stuff from uh, AliExpress for right now, it would be wise to try and find it locally in your country, or um, search on AliExpress for the local area. Like, if I'm, I'm in the United States, I'd want to have it ship from the United States, simply because China is not, not looking good right now. And it will take significantly longer to get your products if you're ordering something, simply due to their epide epidemic that's going on over there, which is just... Uh, it's terrible, but yeah. Alright, I'm moving on to the next benchmark. Okay, so now we're going to go to another game that I play very, very much a lot. Unfortunately, as you can see, the benchmark tool just does not want to work for um, Destiny 2. But, eh, it is what it is. You can still see what's going on on the screen. What you're seeing on the screen is pretty much what I see in-game. And the reason, yes, I am using OBS to record with this, and the reason that I'm kind of putting more stress on my system than what would necessarily be a good benchmarking tool, the thing is, this is what I use it for. Streaming, recording, uh, playing games like Destiny 2, and if it can't handle multitasking the way that I want it to, well, then it's not doing its job. So, as you can see, the frames right now, the frames had spiked up to over 260 FPS in the loading screen. And now that we're in the UD, or EDZ, which is the, um, the Earth open world realm, I'm in the area that is probably the hardest on the system, at least from my experience, it's the hardest on the system. It is... It, it can handle it. I mean, it, it's sitting there at between, like, 75 and 50 FPS, which is playable. Like, 
yet again, that that I think is going to be the takeaway from this entire video is it's it is playable. It's not great, but it's playable. And I I don't really know what to say besides that. I mean, the, the way the system is right now, it is not exactly balanced. It is very very high amounts of RAM, very very low clock speed compared to what it should be. And now if this was a um like third gen or fourth gen uh Xeon being like the E5, V2s, V3s, uh v 4 something in that kind of general vicinity on the X79 or X99 platform, the IPC would be so much better that it would be able to handle these games probably at 3 gigahertz without any problem. But also, a lot of the other X79 and X99 boards have the ability to turbo boost properly, not necessarily turbo boost all the way, like the uh, the Plex HD, you pick up an 8-core system, and it's only ever going to turbo boost to about 3.2 gigahertz no matter what CPU you have or no matter what 8-core you have. Um, but that is still plenty if you're going to be doing like gaming and stuff. And I, I plan on um, getting a Plex HD um, with a... was it? A E5-2665, a E5-2650, a... I want to do a 2689 too. Or as well, because that is another very, very popular system, or a very, very popular CPU from AliExpress. Um, but those benchmarks are probably going to take a while because stuff from China, unfortunately. I'm going to try and get my hands on it. By the way, during this video, or during this recording, I got so lucky. I got two purple drops and an engram. How did I get that lucky? Normally I'd get, like, maybe a drop every couple of hours, and I got three in the course of, like, six minutes or something. But, doesn't hear nor there. Um, I mean, yet again, it is, it is playable. I, I play on it every day, every single day. If I'm not streaming, I'm at least playing something. It's, it's alright. I mean, that, that's all I can really say is that it is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Now, this one was, um, slightly unfortunate. I was trying to, uh... I didn't realize I had resized the um the thing off on the side, but the frame graph on Dota 2 was way better. This game is using the Vulcan API, or I guess I have it set to using the Vulcan API, and it runs really decently. Um, we're talking in between a hundred and like sixty FPS. I don't think I dropped under. I don't think actually I dropped under 70 the entire time I was watching this. This is also the worst case scenario, being an online game and, um, being an online game and having all 10 entities rendered at the same time, or have it all 10 entities being monitored at the same time. It, it It's more pressure on the CPU and GPU than if I was, say, for instance, uh, playing the game, because then that would be quite a bit server side too. But Dota 2, it is, it is significantly easier to play. It is significantly um, better to run. So, if you're interested in doing something like Dota, if you want to play something like Dota, or League of Legends, uh, Fortnite, I can't really attest to because I've never played it. Um, Starcraft is another one that honestly works really decently. Like, this system that I have, I was kind of saying, like, how the frame times are pretty bad, but that's for AAA title games. For these esports games, this system is just knocking it out of the park 24-7. Dota, I stream for five to six hours a day sometimes at different intervals, and it's it works really, really well, and I have nothing bad to say about it. But as that said... I still don't utilize anywhere near the maximum around the maximum RAM capacity that I have in the system, and I could have gone with a faster CPU. That's why I'm going to be trading over to the W6 or uh, yeah W3690, um, or 5690. Sorry, I'm going to be 
Also, downgrading the RAM, essentially, and putting this kit of RAM into another... Uh, it's going to be an X79 system when I eventually get that, which is going to go up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, because, like I said, I have the 64 gig kit, just because I wanted it. Um, I'm going to try to make this into a more of a budget-oriented system. Also, the graphics card is going to get swapped out for a, hopefully, hopefully here, R9 Fury or R9 290X or R9 390X. Something that is more budget oriented. I know I say that as budget oriented. Those cards when they came out were like $600 or something. But now they're like sitting in the $80 to $90 price range where they are extremely reasonable. And the R9 Fury is what is going to be going into the Joker PC when I get the Joker PC. And if anybody's watching this that's watched the Joker PC, I'm, I'm sad to say the Joker PC is currently out of commission because of something. I have no idea what happened. The uh, I think the motherboard may have gotten cooked somehow. I need to go through and completely disassemble it, reassemble it. I was being able to boot to BIOS, then booting to Windows, it would crash, so then I wiped both of the hard drives that are in it. Um, I then thought it was the RAM kit, so I put in a different RAM kit, that one still did the same thing, put in another different RAM kit, that one still did the same thing. Um, swapped out CPU, and then instead of it booting to BIOS and then not booting to Windows, it didn't even boot, it just sent the fans at a 100% uh, motion and nothing. So the Joker PC is currently down and out and out of commission. Um, I'll get it back up. I always fix these things. Even if I gotta drop in a new motherboard, I'm gonna do it because this is supposed to be a build for Reina, and it needs to get done for her so she can join me in these uh, these little fun games, and so I can uh, have her start playing Dota with me and the boys. Which I don't know if that's a uh, punishment or a uh, good thing. Honestly, with the way this game goes, sometimes I think it's more of a punishment than anything. But I am rambling. I've been rambling on way too much during this video. Um, but. Yet again, it's it's not bad. I would like to go into full more detail about what this board can actually accomplish, about what this thing can actually do, and how I can actually make this thing good. Because I know for a fact this board will be good. It can be good. 12 gigs of RAM or 24 gigs of RAM? The faster CPU? I really genuinely think that it'll make a really stellar system. But, like I said, it's got to get to that point, or I have to get it to that point before I, I can really show it. But, thank you very much for watching, if you watched this whole thing. Um, I I guess I really shouldn't have said this is a review of this board, because this is, this is just more like kind of how the system is right now, but it will get better. I will make this thing better. And, um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will quit rambling.